Hey, in today's video, I'm going to teach you four ways to find $100,000 products that you can drop ship in 2019. Let's go. Product research number one is to use Google search. Okay, so um, I've taught you how to use Google Shopping. I recommend how, uh, watching a video on that. But this one's about Google Shopping. Uh, keep in mind, if you're outside the US, you probably need a VPN for this or a proxy. Um, I recommend a VPN. They work better um, and allows you to do it more comfortably. Um, you want to type in words with a keyword, uh, keywords with a plus. So example, hairbrush. I'm going to show you this in a second. And you always put my Shopify, okay? Because uh, every store has a, a URL, my Shopify, okay? Whatever it might be, doglovers.myshopify.com, right? Every store has a .my Shopify, so we can actually use that to our advantage, and we can use it for product research, and Google search allows us to do this easily. And then we use Commerce Inspector and Similar Web, and we basically backtrack. I'm just gonna show you how, how this all works now. All right, so we're on Google, and all I do is, I'm gonna, as I said, use the example, pardon me, of hairbrush airbrush and my Shopify okay and so unfortunately this is connected to the Australian one because I don't have my VPN enabled but that doesn't really matter um, I also recommend using keywords everywhere which is a great Chrome extension but as we can see here um, these people test store <laughs> okay that's funny anyway um, so if we go to this we should find that this is a Shopify store if it's gonna let me click it thank you which it is. Uh -huh, they even have the actual lo loading logo of it. Now this looks like a proper, a proper branded store. So this is probably not the best from doing this. I'm um, not exactly 100% related, but it has the words hairbrush in it. And as we can see, we've now found a store that is marketing. Not a great one, that's for sure. But you get heaps and heaps and heaps of ideas from this. And what you do is you use a Commerce Inspector and similar web to understand it further. So we can actually see this is a proper, by the looks of it, hairbrush line. Uh, we can tell because they're getting quite a lot of traffic, uh, low bounce rate, etc., etc. We can check their sources. So they're doing a combination of search and social. Uh, but you get the idea that you can find all these stores pretty easy um, and basically then look at their, their products. I mean, most of these stores are general stores. You're probably not going to find them on... Um, on AliExpress. In fact, actually, this is a fantastic store. I've never seen this store. Well, I'm good. Anyway, so this is, oh wow, actually a lot of traffic, my gosh. Um, and you can see that they're doing a lot on search, direct, and social. So they're doing a lot of SEO. And as a little tip, you can see that they're using um, Adplexity. So they're actually, that's a tool that they're by the looks of it using, AdSwiper. Um, obviously they're using bitly as well so you can actually see that they're using adplexity and that um, it's actually quite interesting you can see what people are searching for as well um, make goodies wood scratch concealer so if you see ones here this means that uh, that's a search term that I would actually investigate further right so um, wood scratch concealer so if I quickly just put in this to show you wood scratch concealer that's another product research method by the way you're welcome um so here we go so found it straight away so this here is by the looks of it a winning product for them uh we can tell they've put a lot of effort into the actual page um so this is definitely a winning product you can tell that they're adding bundles and that as well to try and do upsells and there you go that is a product research method how easy was that just using a couple of free tools let's move on to the next one Product research number two is Facebook Ads Library. All right, so this is a fantastic way that Facebook's actually brought in for us to actually look at pages and actually see the ads that they're currently running. All right, it's really interesting. They released this as a part of their transparency for Facebook customers, Facebook users. But for us as marketers, it's a fantastic way for us to actually see uh, the ads that a page is running. Yes, you have the info and ads tab on a page, this is just another way. It's actually really easy to use. So I just wanted to show you this one. It's a fantastic way. So let's let's uh, see how it works now. All right, so we're in the Facebook ads library right now. We can change our country. I recommend changing it to the United States. I always start United States. And we're gonna put in a page. So obviously I'm gonna use a large one like Blue Crate just for the example of this. We can see that um, 
Blue Crate, and we're seeing some ads. Now, Blue Crate, as we know, they do a lot of uh, product research, they, sorry, do a lot of shout outs. So they don't actually run a huge amount of ads, funnily enough. If we have a look here at Make Goodies, okay, so if I go back to Make Goodies and make sure that their Facebook page is also the same, um, but I can't see it. So let's see if we can put in Make Goodies as a page to use as another example. Make Goodies. Goodies, I think. I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. So um, they're currently not running ads by the looks of it. Um, sometimes, keep in mind, it doesn't always update. This is a new tool, but it's something to have a look at. So what I recommend is uh, find find some, a page that interests you and simply just type it in here, and you might see some ads that you sometimes don't see in um, you don't see actually in the info and ads tab. I find that at times that doesn't work well. So this actually can work better. But I just wanted to show you this one. This one's a pretty self-explanatory, but it can really give you some great ideas. Let's move on to the next step. Product research number three is thieve.co. A number of you may know about this one already. A number of you may not. Thieve.co is a free website um, where it allows us to see current trending items based on votes, okay? So uh, it actually works on votes. People actually make accounts and they vote for items they like and actually sort of it can give us ideas on what items are trending right now um, So it's a great tool as well to look down at niche specific I'll show you that in a moment and you, all you again you need is a free account I you don't have to have one, but I recommend it. Uh, there's no reason to not um, I mainly recommend using the trending tab and then I scroll through the items and find something I like so I'm going to show you exactly what my thoughts are on it right now All right, so we're on the Thieve Co website, I've got an account, just linked to my Facebook, all that jazz. Obviously, it's going to show you latest by default. Um, and you can actually, they have a Chrome extension as well, which can help you as well. But I primarily just use trending. Okay, uh, latest is good, but trending is obviously latest and good. So if you want the Chrome extension as well, just go there. So then I will scroll through. And I'll just find something that catches my eye. Again, a lot of these aren't catching my eye. A lot of these aren't. This is immediately. What is this? Okay, so it's only had 31 orders, but we can see that it's an LED glow detachable leash. So that's cool. I think that's really cool. So if we have a look here on AliExpress, it takes you straight to the actual product on AliExpress. And obviously then you can scroll to the bottom, look at other sellers who are selling it, all that jazz as well. Um, but we can see here, like, th this is a pretty high ticket item, truthfully speaking. Um, uh, I don't know why it's not letting me. But either way, this is something that caught my attention. We've also got a creative. But you can basically use Steve Co. just for that. It's really simple. I just use the trending uh, because I find that, you know, I don't want to find the newest and try and just go with the guessing game. Go with something trending. And that's because always trending is something new right now. So just use that trending tab and you're going to find a myriad of ideas for you to find winning products, okay? Product research number four is wish.com. Okay, so a lot of us know of wish.com as well. It's the biggest marketplace that has centered itself around being basically another AliExpress. It's really just another AliExpress, but it's more for, more for Westerners, okay? So a lot of people don't know of AliExpress, but they know of Wish. Very, very, very cheap. Um, marketplace and people love it for that reason as a result they get heaps of customers that um, as a result we can use that and uh, we can use a, this product research method of finding trending items just by jumping on wish completely for free to find you know hundred thousand dollar items pretty easily so I'm just gonna show you how this works now all right so we're on wish.com and you can see there's heaps upon heaps of items as you can see jewelry uh, like that caught my attention straight away and this is just on the home page okay so these are popular so you can use the popular tab and I mean have a look at that those are ear studs by the looks of it um, those are cool but I think that's a trademarked um, image but we can see here we've got a lovely looking ring I don't recommend that we've got some beautiful jewelry here jewelry is a really good one of course as well um, we've got I don't recommend clothing but what we can do is you can have a look through here and just find heaps and heaps of ideas um, it's just infinite amount of ideas really but you can oh, that's cool is that Lord of the Rings anyway so um, we can see blitz by Express but what we want to type in here is 
trending items, okay, or just trending, okay. I don't recommend fashion again, but trending items, we're going to find some, I mean, look at that, that's cool. Um, I don't know, can't tell who to mark that to, but that's cool. Um, we've probably, a number of you may have seen this, but this is trending, a thousand people have purchased it. So if a thousand people have purchased it, $8, and this is obviously an AUD, um, we can charge a lot more. We can see this is a beautiful ring, um, ring set maybe that uh, people absolutely love and that as well. We've got heaps of jewelry, okay? So a lot of these will be jewelry, uh, but it gives you a lot of other little cool ideas that you can come across as well that people will be buying that you can use. <laughs> There you, okay, that you can use. We've got sunglasses again. Well, that's actually really cool. But you get the idea that there's lots of ideas. You can even use it for print on demand, as you can see. So you can see a hundred people have bought this. Um, that there's heaps of ideas. We can see that this looks like a need item, some sort of hair related item, fantastic item. So you just scroll through here. Drones, they're really popular. And you've got a ton of ideas. It's one of the best platforms for it. It's similar to, to Amazon, where you can also uh, do it this way. And it's, again, just 100% free. You just need to make a Facebook, link your Facebook account. It's as simple as that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that one. And that concludes today's video on how to find $100,000 winning products for free using those four methods. How easy was that? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and comment down below. Crush it to go in the chance to win one of two 15-minute coaching calls with myself, Ricky Hayes. Just need 40 comments for that to go ahead and then you go in the chance to win. It's a lot of fun. I love those. Lastly, I want to add, guys, going to be doing two videos a week from now and I've decided I want to add more value to the videos as opposed to more videos, okay? And I just have a lot of things going on at the moment. Lastly, um, I hit 5,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I hope you have enjoyed the content. I've been doing this now for about eight, nine months. Um, and to come to where I am, I'm really proud. It's been, been a lot of ups, a lot of downs. It's not been an easy journey, but I've gotten here. And to celebrate that, to give something back to you all, I am running a 75% flash sale of my course, Ecom Lifestyle University, okay? And that course is gonna take you from beginner to intermediate to advanced to expert to master. You're gonna get lifetime updates as well as lifetime mentoring in my private group. This is a limited time offer only, okay? 75% off, one-time payment. You can choose PayPal or card, simple as that. There's a link down below, guys. Link down below, get on it now. You're gonna absolutely love that course. I update it nearly every week to every second week with a heap of value things that people aren't doing that much. I'm adding in Google, I'm gonna be adding in Bing. I'm looking at Snapchat ads, more Facebook scaling, more Facebook methods, all of that super advanced to help you kick goals. Students in my in my course are absolutely crushing it. You know, they've gone on to make their own YouTube channels, their own groups and that because with that knowledge, they've gotten so much knowledge in one course, they've been able to go out and do that. So I just wanted to say that it is an absolute steal and you should get in on it, all right guys? So that's all I wanted to add today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Have a lovely day. Take care and goodbye.